we are Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. We are on the P&O Pacific Encounter and in this video we're going to take you around all the dining options on the P&O Encounter which is where we are obviously. So we're going to go around all the included dining and we're also going to have a look at the specialty dining, the ones you pay a little bit extra for so that you can uh, make your choices to where you want to eat. We're going to start this off at the Waterfront Restaurant. This is the main dining room on the, uh, the, the P&O Encounter. This is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Breakfast, lunch and dinner on sea days, breakfast and dinner only on port days. So let's let's put a nose in this. They've not opened yet, so I don't think there's anybody in. So I think we've got a chance of having a we quick look have around. a good little look around. Hello. Hi. Hello. These are the lovely, I'm sorry, I don't, are you Maitre D? No, supervisor, supervisor. Supervisor, supervisor, who look after us and they will look after you in the waterfront restaurant. Fantastic restaurant. Yes, they look after us every night. It's lovely. Um, so they will always do the best to accommodate you to get the seat that you want. Um, and they do have the tables laid out for some pretty big parties here. We've got some lots of families and friends and birthdays and things going on. Um, so they will they will accommodate you if you've got a bigger party. So in in the day, this is a beautiful restaurant because it's got great big windows right round on the side, and so you get a beautiful view out to sea. Yep. In the evening, you can see it over here. You can watch the sea go by. We're moving again. Oh, We've been stopped for a while. It's, uh... <laughs> in the evening, obviously all the curtains are closed, lights go down, and you get this lovely, wonderful, atmospheric restaurant. Can get a little bit noisy. Um, in the centre, but hey, it's a it's a busy time at the moment, and um, so it gets really really packed and busy. Good food, the food rotates. It's at, um, so it has two separate sort of menus, set menus, plenty of choice on those. We menus. will put, like all the restaurants, we'll put samples of those menus on our website www.robandali.net. Look under the library tab P and O and we'll put sample menus on there so you can get an idea about what sort of food's on offer. They do have optional extras um, that you can pay for, so some side dishes you can pay for, and then some extra dishes with things like prawns and things and, yeah. and steak that you can pay for. But to be honest, there's enough on that menu to keep most people happy. Yeah, and if you have dietary requirements, Robert's moving on. Yeah. If you have dietary requirements, let them know, let the front desk know here, and they will try and ensure that chef will do something special for you. I was just going to do a quick spin, uh, spin around just before we move on to the other restaurants just once more because it's a beautiful day out. We're going to have a gorgeous sunset tonight. Okay, let's yes, move on to some yes, of the other restaurants. Yes, we are going to have a lovely, uh, lovely sunset. We are now on level six at the back of the ship. This is where Dragon Lady is. Now, this is one of the restaurants. It's included in your fare, but it is um, sort of fusion Asian. You are recommended to book here. It does book out very quickly. And that is because it is delicious. It is very much like a specialty restaurant without the charge. It's <laughs> very, very good. Wait till we show you inside. Um, just a few little tips for you. Some people have said to us that they don't think it is spicy enough um, as you would get in sort of a, a, a normal shore based um, Chinese or Thai cuisine you can ask for it to be spicier if that is your thing so they do make everything fairly mild and, and palatable for, for everybody i guess yep. but you can ask for it to be spicy it is beautiful inside okay. absolutely beautiful now the it. way this operates like uh, some of the other restaurants is there are two two different menus and the menus change i think they're on a three-day rotation uh, so check what day of the rotation that you're on when you come on board um, and uh, try them both. If you're on for long enough, try them both because they're both very different menus. It's a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. It's absolutely beautiful and um, it will have sort of soft music in the background and we find because it has softer furnishings in here that it is more muffled the sound of sort of the dishes and people talking. So it's a lot more 
conducive to dining. It's a very, for us. very pleasant, very yeah, pleasant. Very nice. And the food is just the, the food is gorgeous, yes. So this is Dragon Lady, located on section deck six. There is only one way to get here, down one flight of stairs, and it's the flight of stairs by the Black Circus. You can't get here any other way. Another little tip for here, um, people have, because of course, we, if we meet you on board the ship, we always ask your opinion. So people have said to us, they thought that the menu was quite limited. It is quite limited. It is a specialty um, and it has that specialty feel about it. What we would recommend is that if you order things from the starter or things from the, um, from the main menu as things to share amongst yourselves. So even if it's just two of you, if there's a table of six of you, order several things from that menu, plus your side dishes of the steamed vegetables and rice, and put them in the center as you would if you were having kind of a Chinese buffet or a Chinese banquet, that kind of thing. That way you get to taste all the different flavors and you'll feel you've had more of that experience um, that's, that's more like what you would have at this style of dining. Okay, yeah, so this is Dragon Lady. Oh, I shouldn't be standing in front of the beautiful Sophia Loren, should I? She just outshines me. So this is Angelo's. This is one of the restaurants that is available to you um, in your fair. And it's Italian based. Let's go and have a look. Well, it's empty at the moment. Um, let's go and have a little nosy round. This has a very, very similar look to the waterfront restaurant. Um, very similar. The, the chairs have um, beautiful Italian kind of decor on the back of them. Pictures of Sophia Loren. Hello. Italian building. It's, it's beautifully sophisticated, I would say. It's kind of got navy blues and um, dark blues to it. Makes it really calming and uh, pleasant for a restaurant. You can hear a little bit of music going on in the background. Now the menu here is Italian, so you can imagine there's gnocchi, there is um, a lot of pasta dishes, but they also have things like um, salmon and slow roast um, lamb, those sort of things. Of course, there's always a tiramisu on there, um, Rob's favorite. So excellent, excellent food. Rob's not a huge fan of pasta, but um, it's, uh, I like pasta and I thought it was beautifully made. I think the menu here, if I remember rightly, works on the same rotation as Dragon Lady. So it's yeah. a, two menus, two different menus, and they rotate on a three day basis. So yeah. again, if you're on the cruise, just check out the different menus and what's available. If there's, you try them both out. So this is yeah. for evenings only. So they don't do breakfast here I think and they, they do don't a high do tea in here. lunch. They do a high tea and yeah. um, that you pay extra for. Yeah. But what was on the menu for high tea was beautiful. It looked spectacular. I'll do a quick scan around um, because I think they're setting up getting ready to open. So we'll do a quick final scan around of Angelo's Italian. This is on deck six as well. Um, it's like very it's similar or, layout to the waterfront, so yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Nicely laid out. Another dining option included in your fare is the pantry restaurant. This is on the 14th floor and it is on both sides of the ship. Um, so and it has the same has the same stations that are on offer. It's a food court, not a buffet. Yes. Anyway, it's yeah. getting a bit noisy, Mexican so let's go style. and have a look inside. It's fantastic, and then you can either eat indoors or outdoors, and there's quieter bit sections indoors further down, and you can eat. You can also take your food to the Oasis, which is the adult-only area, and eat sort of indoors, outdoors, so you're sheltered by the sun, but you're getting all that lovely, fresh sea. Yeah. Let's have a quick look. This is open for breakfast, which actually on this cruise has been, um, because this is a three day cruise and we haven't stopped anywhere, they've been very generous with the opening times for breakfast. We've been here and it's gone 10 o'clock and they're still serving your hot breakfast. It's been marvelous. <laughs> We've got Mexican, we've got um, Indian. Indian, we've got pasta station here. There's always a fresh different pasta every day. We then have um, a roast every day with roast vegetables and gravy and specialty potatoes. We've then got further down there, they do fish and chips and the fish. 
We've got um, Oriental, which is kind of Chinese and Thai and a little bit of mixture of everything over there. We have two soups every day, two fresh homemade soups that are different every day. Salad bar with beautiful fresh salads and um, sandwiches in the lunchtime with rolls and um, ready-made up and wraps and things like that. And um, there's always heaps of fruit either already cut up for you like melons and things like that and pineapples. And then there's also, they just put big baskets of fr fresh fruit out for you. Then they have what's called a sugar bar. No, no prizes for getting what the guessing what the sugar bar is. Sugar bar is desserts. Actually, I did take a run of um, the sugar bar earlier on, so I'll insert some footage here so that you can see what the uh, is on offer. So they will have hot and cold desserts. Um, I don't think they do ice cream, but they will. They've got jellies and things that are always on offer for the kids. We'd say this is not buffet style because it is served to you so you won't get people touching all the hot food and throwing the cutlery back in the dishes and things like that it's all very civilized and it's always um, beautifully presented and hot food and don't forget you can come up as many times as you like so just get small amounts of everything and keep coming back up and have a try of everything this is just a little bit of the seating area, but there is a heaps of seating areas, not only here, um, this just doesn't look, there's coffee t uh, and tea machine at the end and juice and milk, but there's, there's different areas. There's the same on either side. There's this seating area here. There's a seating area down there. And then beyond this, um, we'll go and have a quick look actually over here, but beyond the lift area are some further, uh, is some further seating area. We've had to move out of the pantry area because there is a bit of music and we get a strike on the video. But just to tell you that um, it's, it's beautifully clean in that restaurant when you think of the amount of people that are going through there all day. It serves breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, early tea for the kids, which is great. They have a section sectioned off for the children and they have little drawing um, pads and coloured pencils there for them and then you get your evening meal there as well if you want to um, and just to say the waiter staff or the staff that are cleaning up after you they are like ninjas ninja staff you only have to leave a bowl finished you put your knife and fork together and they they come and they clean it away and they wipe down the table and they use buckets of hot soapy water to clean down the table from the person who's been there previously and they wipe down the chairs. It is fantastic for this kind of casual opening dining. One of the specialty dining rooms where you will have to pay, but actually it's, it's a re reasonably priced and that is the 400 Gradi. Shall I let you know what that means? Yes. Can you have a guess? <laughs> no, <I> okay. <laughs> so 400, this is the temperature that you um, is recommended to bake your pizzas, to do your pizza bases. And gradi means degrees. So it's 400 degrees. It's as simple as that. You'll see us do, um, do a commentary on this restaurant. We actually dined there last night. It is a wonderful restaurant to get the best pizzas in town um beautiful if you just look inside yeah we're going to actually start to get a bit noisy out here but in terms of prices so your entrees are around about eight ten twelve dollars something like the entrees and the mains the pizzas are, pizzas around are about a between really 12 good, and 20 aren't they? they're a good size they 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 are big enough for anybody oh, let's yeah, put they, it that way yeah and um, they so they spin around they um toss the the dough in front of you they actually make the pizzas here behind this glass um, what do you say, this glass prep area here. You've got a little bit of fancy kind of Italian music going mm -hmm. on. There is at the moment, yeah. Hopefully it won't interfere with video, but this is where, and, that, and of course the oven's behind where they bake your pizzas. But it this is- It has a very restauranty feel to it in as much as this is like a posh restaurant, posh Italian restaurant that you would go to on land. It's, yeah, it's just got this beautiful feel to it. The waiters and waitresses are wonderful in here and really spoil you and look after you. I mean, you get spoiled and looked after everywhere, but you get extra special service in here. Okay, so I'll have a quick pan around now. We're gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to leave because the music might interfere with our video, uh, but I'll hopefully get a big pan around there and you'll get the feel for 
400 gradi. This is on deck seven. This is right next door to the blue room and opposite the photo studio, as you can see right now. Next restaurant, we are in Luke's which is on um, deck seven. This is a specialty restaurant. You have to pay for this. It's beautifully decorated. It's empty at the moment. We've come out of hours, so we can have a good look round. Um, you can see the, the restaurant here where they're preparing food. I think there's some of the chefs in. Let's go and have a quick nose. There we go, some of the chefs are actually preparing the food at the moment, giving us a wave. <laughs> <laughs> It's done in kind of, there's, there's tables and chairs over that side and then these are little booths here. I can't quite put my finger on what the, um, what the decor is, but it's kind of modern. Um, oh, it's almost got an art deco feel to it, sort of the greys and blacks and um, light glass colour. Anyway, this is steak and seafood. So prices are, um, for the main courses, prices are around $22 to about $55. So there's a little bit of something for everybody here. Um, and let's go and have a look at it. We believe Luke is in the building. We might actually come across him. Uh, lots of good drinks as well. You can get up in there. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We haven't tried this one ourselves, but we've had good reports from it. Yeah, I have eaten in uh, Salt Grill, which was Luke's old piano restaurant. Um, I have no reason to doubt that it's any different. It's under the same directorship of uh, Luke Mangan, the Australian celebrity chef. And they also do some wine tasting in here as well. So if you get a chance to do that, this is beautiful environment to do some wine tasting. I've got a feeling they might do a high tea in here as well. Anyway, that concludes our tour of all the restaurants on the P&O Pacific Encounter. If you've liked this, if you found it useful, then please give us a thumbs up. Please give us a like, uh, subscribe. What's the other one? Notification, uh, yes, hit the notification button if you want to see more of our videos. Leave some comments below. We love reading your comments. Oh, look, if you've eaten in some of these restaurants, absolutely give us your thoughts, give us your opinions. Um, Any for suggestions? Every, yeah, yeah, whatever For you think. everybody else to see, because it all helps everybody it helps the whole community out to hear what other people have thought so absolutely from the restaurants of the P&O Pacific Encounter we will say goodbye for now and we will see you in the next video thanks for watching take care all bye for now bye